Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as an energy check-in for the year 2022. We're going to read the energy of the year, the theme of the year, what we can expect as a... I, my intention is to make this reading more spirituality and like about energies and what to expect, what need, what we need to change in our life. It's I'm not putting my intentions to tell you or to pretend that I know the future or what will happen in the future. I will start with the Moonology Oracle cards here. I will take one from this, then we'll start the, with the Tarot of the Divine. The most deck that I'm connected to so far. Three cards for your health, three cards for your money and career, three cards for your love life and one outcome. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Some, there is the energy of change, my dear, around you. Let's see. This is your health, Empress. Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords. This is your money and career, the Hierophant, the Five of Coins, the Ace of Swords. There is something very different and new coming to your life. And even your way of thinking, your way of acting with life is changing totally. This is your love life. Temperance, Ten of Wands, The Hanged Man. Based on what I'm seeing here, Leo, and I will go in details later, I believe what you need to do or what you are planning to do, I think it's not what you need to do. You are changing your way of approaching people and life. You are a very soft-hearted individuals in general. Leos are very loving and they act from the heart. They are always very generous in everything, not only in money, in feelings, in love, and you are a very loyal person. I believe this is changing. In the coming year, Leo, you are taking a decision that your interest, your happiness, what you want is first. You are not going to be that bigger person all the time anymore. That doesn't mean that you're going to be childish or the bad person or not care about anyone. But you will learn in this year to love yourself. For the Leos that I'm connected with, you learned how to love yourself in the past. This is a very mature energy. We have the Empress, the Hierophant, and the Temperance. But you are putting yourself first. You are always loyal to, let's say, I will give you an example to explain what I want to say because I'm finding 
I'm struggling telling you what I want. Let's say you are working in a place and you are very loyal to this place to the point that you will put the bet like the place before your the interest of the place before yours. Like if there is anything will benefit you or the commitment that you made that you will be loyal here and work here for let's say six hours per day. But you have other job or another idea, it need your time. But because you are committed to work here six hours daily, you are ready to sacrifice your own benefit to stood by your commit commitment. Now, I don't think you are going to do this anymore, Leo. You will not be like disrespectful or not loyal, but you will put your benefit first. Like any other person around you, and I believe this is what you learned before and what you are about really to learn for sure, deeply, this year. You were so soft and giving and loving with this Empress energy, mothering everyone. And you waited, building you what you want because you were committed to this type of energy, to this type of giving. With this Queen of Swords, not anymore, Leo. You will keep doing what you have to do in the minimum, but the priority is you. And if that needed, will need you to be sharp and straightforward, you are straightforward, but to be sharp, cutting things from your life, you will not stop. Because... I feel, Leo, you felt that everyone around you is putting themselves first. Why not you? Why you have to be all the time committing to something their own people is not committed to as much as you are? Like, I am explaining this in a way, giving the impression I believe that you are turning from a very good person to a bad person. This is not my intentions at all. I let, let me put it this way. You are learning to be flexible, Leo, and pro, put your own benefit as a priority. Prioritizing yourself. This is the right thing to do. I will give and I will be respectful to this place and stand by my word by offering you help, but not till the point that I will lose my job or my own business to help you in your, own, in your business. I will help you, but not till the point that I will lose mine to stand by you. No. I need the time for myself. I will do the minimum. If you will ask me for favors. If I can. I will say yes. If I cannot. I will say no. I cannot. I believe this is the theme of this year my dear. You waited here. Then you took the decision. In your money and career, you have the Hierophant, and I believe this is your commitment to the place or to the thing that you are doing. But this commitment put you in the Five of Pentacles because you are not receiving as much as you are giving, and you are not waiting. Like, you are doing what you are doing because you believe that this is the right thing to do. You are seeing that what you are doing is not really a very appreciated 
and so many people are taking more benefits than you while you are doing your job like you are committing to your job more than anyone else right now you are do what you have to do you will do your duty you will not like run after doing things they are not your job you are not doing favors because you have something in mind and you want to put your time on this something will is your passion you are enjoying you will put all the effort here to make it successful and to get what you want you are putting effort in some others like project and leaving yours which is not logic the priority is me i will not drop you i will not leave you i will not be like lazy towards my other job let's say but i will do the minimum like any other one i will do what i have to do i will not volunteer to do things they are not mine or they are not my responsibility because i committed in the beginning to help you and i'm still following my commitment even though the others are getting more benefit than me but that's it i'm giving an example i hope you are understanding or i am doing a good job explaining what i want to say in your love life temperance Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man. Here, there is something you need to work on, this Hanged Man here. You are balanced, Leo. You know what you want. And you came out from the death. Bringing life from dead built yourself from scratch not giving up each time you fall down you pick yourself up but you are still hanged in the idea of like the feeling from this temperance that I had here that you are so happy in yourself, with yourself, by yourself. Convincing yourself all the time that I can do everything for me. I am stable. I'm balanced. I'm strong. I am a multitask person. I am waiting for the right energy to come around. But till now, nobody's right. And I'm happy like this. You are hanged alone here, not knowing or not wanting deep inside you to release yourself from your fear that you are hiding inside about having someone in your life. You worked so hard for this stability and you are afraid if you will bring somebody back to your life, you will lose everything and we'll, you will start all over from scratch. There is a trust issue inside you, Leo, and you know that. You know that you don't trust. You are afraid of people crossing your path and not sticking next to you. They will come and then they will leave. So let them go from the beginning. This reading is telling you for the year of 2022, you don't have to run after love or find anyone to enter your life. The only thing that needed here with these two cards in your love life, Leo, and if you will see the temperance and the hanged man, to open your eyes. That's all. Don't do anything else. Just look around. Stop ignoring everything. 
And when you will try, try for real. Don't pretend that you are trying. Then take the decision that this is not the right energy before even knowing this energy. This reading is advising you for the year 2022, my dear, to open your eyes. Your commitment is being tested. There is a challenge here, and I believe you are up to the challenge. You are committed. You are overcommitted. When you say something, or when you promise that you will do something, you overdo it. Put the right effort. Not lazy, not kill yourself. The right effort. Do what you have to do. Save your energy to yourself, to your dreams. If you want to kill yourself here, don't stop yourself. Because this is for you. Don't kill yourself for others, my dear. This is not right. Do your job the right way. Not the wrong way, not the extreme perfect way, the right way. If when you, because you have this ace of wands inside you, there is something inside you you want to do. There is a project in your mind, you are trying to make it happen. You cannot make it happen if you are putting all this energy and effort towards something else based on committing to that something. Time to change. Commit to yourself. To your benefit. To your interest. To your future. To your ideas. And to your stability. This is what you have to commit to. Don't commit to doing favors to others who are not appreciating what you are doing. And believe me, when you will keep giving, if one time you became tired or you said no or you did, the, you did things without like... Not the way you usually do, or you felt you show them that you are tired. They will be completely different people around you because you taught them that this is their right. It's based on the commitment that you are doing here. You let people believe that what they what you are doing is their right. And if you are not doing it, you are not doing what you have to do. I hope I am explaining what I want to say right. Don't give other energies around you more than they deserve, Leo. Don't give them. Because at the end of the day, nobody will make your benefit priority. They will always pick themselves. So learn to do the same. Pick yourself always. Don't pick yourself and destroy others. But when, it, when the energy will go to benefit them or benefit you, your energy I'm talking. Definitely it has to benefit you. If you will learn your lesson, this is what's waiting for you. The Ten of Cups in everything. Stability, love, and happiness. You have a lot of energy this reading is telling you the theme of the 2022. 
you are you have a lot of energy but you are putting it in the wrong place i believe 2022 will be the year of re what how they say this changing direction instead of putting the effort towards others you are putting this effort on you to build your life because i will say this and like end the reading because i believe it's too long sorry for that guys pick your future your stability and if the scale will be between what will benefit you and what will benefit others, pick yourself. This is your lesson. When you will put your energy on you, this is the, you are delaying your happiness, your stability by prioritizing commitment than you. Like your commitment is higher than you inside you. You have to be committed to what you committed to, even if you will, your life will be the price. This is wrong. There is a limit for everything. You are over limit. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Happy New Year for you this year every year till the end of time. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.